Have you ever watched an ice hockey game in which two players face head-on collision smashing helmets? Or a player falls on back, hitting head on ice down for several minutes before being held to his feet? In such scenarios, it is estimated that one in every four elite ice hockey players has a risk of losing consciousness due to concussion. A concussion is a traumatic brain injury in which a sudden blow or jolt to the head or the body shifts the brain inside the skull. This can damage brain cells and disrupt brain function. The likelihood of more severe consequences, including death, increases if a second concussion is sustained. Moreover, these concussions are notoriously difficult to diagnose because they do not appear in brain scans and imaging. I see a challenge here. If every concussion is diagnosed at an early stage, patients have an incredible chance of recovery following therapy. Therefore, I have designed an early detection sniffer dog system for concussion, a system that has the ability to seek at the concussed brain cells and image them directly. I have constructed the system to target a protein called tau inside the brain. In a healthy brain, tau regulates the growth of brain cells in the same way as proteins in our, in our diet build our body cells. But in a concussed brain, Tau becomes the evil protein, which is abnormally deposited in high amounts, killing the healthy brain cells. To target such an evil protein inside the brain, the targeting system needs to be extremely small and compatible to penetrate inside the cells. As such, my system has a nanoparticle tagged with two molecules, out of which one has a very high specificity for the evil protein Tau, while the other produces green light for imaging. Now to put the size into perspective, a nanoparticle is 100,000 times thinner than a human hair, and a molecule is 100 times smaller than a nanoparticle. When this nanoparticle system is exposed to live brain cells following a concussion, the system crosses the cell membranes and binds to this evil protein tau specifically. This is confirmed from the slide behind me, which has a microscopic image of a concussed brain cell lit due to the green light produced from the nanoparticle. My thesis shows that this nanoparticle system can be potentially used to diagnose concussion by targeting this evil protein tau. This test will be useful for concussed ice hockey players, increasing their chance of recovery and therapy, save their sports career, and more importantly, save their lives. Thank you.